This laboratory checks not only experimental materials, but samples of all raw materials used in production as well. Sections of caucus and tread welded together or vulcanized by various experimental methods and compounds are flexed and tormented by specially designed flexing machines to determine their adhesive properties. Other tensile strength machines are used for a pull test to measure the number of pounds necessary to tear the tread from the carcass. This test proves the positive adhesion attained in Brunswick super service tires by the double shock absorber unit not only on a cold pool test, but on heat tests as well. There's a section of the laboratory known as the torture chamber. It's aptly named, because a tire that will run this gauntlet of tire-destructing mechanisms and survive truly earns its right to be called one of the finest tires ever built. Here is a Brunswick Super Service inflated to a pressure four, five, six times its regular inflation point. Pressure is forced into it until it bursts. The men conducting these tests are protected by heavily insulated partitions. Pound by pound, water is forced into the tube under pressure, inflating the tire to 200 pounds or more until something must give. Under this terrific pressure, the steel bead snapped, but the tire itself did not blow out. Another device is used to test the possible injury to a tire as a result of hitting into curbs or road obstructions. A tire is mounted on a heavily weighted steel rim and dropped on an iron cleat 